Hey guys, what's happening? I'm gonna give uh, my week eight update here on my grow. Uh, you can see that the curly kale has started to, to catch up finally. On the uh, left, my tomato plants are kind of going out of control. Um, there's actually two plants I realized on the left. Um, one in the middle in the back and then one on the right. I have my Thai basil here, which I've cut back significantly. Um, and then also the uh, the shiso right here on the left and then also my swiss chard on the right or actually not swiss chard rainbow chard sorry and uh last natto kale in the back and <clears throat> i've been away for about a week or so and i noticed that when i came back some of the leaves turned brown you can see it really prominently on the kale i think this is from being underfed. So I actually checked, I checked the uh, nutrient levels actually just using the uh, the total dissolved solid meter that I have and um, they're in the low 200s and also the pH was quite high. It was about 7, 7.0 uh, or 8.0. So if you can see here on the uh, color meter it was a dark, dark green. So probably around there um, you can see some of it is still left in there. I already threw it out. So, could be a couple of reasons. It was mostly the tomato tub and the uh, chard and kale tub on the right. So, I already refed them all. Um, they're back up at around 1,000 uh, ppm's. And I checked the pH for all of the tubs, made sure that they're within range. Um, you want it between 5 and 6.0 max. And I'm gonna double check again tomorrow to see if I need to adjust it, but it's been about 30 minutes since I fed them and adjusted the pH, so it should be good to go. I'm actually gonna take my first harvest of the curly kale today. I haven't had a chance to eat it yet. And this is the first time that I'm gonna be uh, eating this plant that I grew. Last year I only grew the, the last natto kale. It turned out pretty well. Um, and yeah, that's about it. The uh, tomatoes, are taking a little bit longer than I thought. I thought they'd be ripened uh, after a couple weeks, um, but they're still green, so I'm gonna let them sit. I have several different types that I'm growing. <clears throat> These are all micro dwarf tomatoes, um, but I got one type that should be yellow, one type that should be orange, and one that's red. So there's a lot of flowers. I made sure to pollinate them all. Um, so I should have a lot of tomatoes in a few weeks. And uh, that's about it. So uh, week eight, things are going pretty well. Hopefully the tomato and the char or the yeah the kale will recover from being underfed. And um, yeah, that's about it. Thanks for watching.